About 8.44 here at Fox News Rising. We are in the kitchen this morning with Chef Troy for Tuesdays with Troy, even on this icy day. Yeah, right. This is a great recipe because not only is it healthy, but it has pretty much everything you need in the meal, and we're going to do it all in one bowl. Exactly right. And it's really, really simple. I'm going to go ahead and turn this down now. This was a stock that we cooked the noodles in. We seared the vegetables in the pan with some ginger, some fresh ginger, some soy sauce, and then we took them out, let them rest while we cooked the noodles. Remove the noodles, that's what I've got back okay. here. Now I've just ran some cold water over these. And actually, let's see if you could hand me that clear bowl right there. Okay. And you mentioned that these noodles do not take much time to cook at all. They, they do not. About four minutes. And actually, I recommend going one minute less than the package. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take these noodles out of the bowl. And these are a wheat noodle. These, this is a wheat noodle. So, we're going to put that there. So, now the way we're going to build this is. Is uh, now once you cook them, you want to run the noodles under cold water just okay. so they stop cooking, and then if you need to run, you know, a little bit of water um, over them just to keep them from sticking, which All is right. what I just had to do. So a portion, you know, I would just put just a little bit of noodles in like okay. that, and then what we've got here. Now I want to take this. I want to strain out some of these vegetables too, because we're going to build this a couple different ways. You don't have to do it this way, but that's okay. that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because that's what I feel like doing. <laughs> and <laughs> hey, and it's your segment, so you can do what you want. But really, it doesn't really have to be that complicated, switching pans and all that kind right. of good stuff. But you'll just kind of see where I'm going here in a second. So we've got our vegetables. Now, I, I go with the vegetables next. So I want, you know, want a nice little okay. kind of healthy portion of those. So what I would do is just kind of put those on top, like so. And then we're going to wait on the broth for just a second. Okay. Now we're going to get to our tenderloin, which we season that with some ground ginger, some cumin, some coriander. And you can see, I'm not trying to brag or anything. But Perfectly if you, cooked. But if you use a thermometer and you know what temperature to pull it out, which I like about 140 because it's medium, medium rare, then you're going to get perfectly cooked pork every time. And what about letting it rest? How long? What's what's the rules on that? There, well, two two things. Before you get started, you need to let it warm up to room temperature. Okay. That's going to ensure even heating. You also want to wrap it like we did, so it, it's all in one size, and it'll cook even. And then once you cook it, you want to let it set. You know, you can go 10 minutes, 15 minutes. This actually has been going for about 20 minutes now. Okay. And you can see there's not a whole lot of juice on the cutting board, which means all that juice is still locked inside. Nice. So that's perfect. So those are good little, good little tips. Okay. So now what I would do is I would take Stack this. these guys. And, and, you know, you're doing this at home, and my family makes fun of me, but I still always try to make it look nice. You know, you eat with your eyes first, obviously. You know, so we're going to put that on there, just like this. And this is very healthy. We also talked about, you know, about pork being, you know, everybody thinks it's unhealthy. You know, it's yeah. lower in fat than beef, obviously. So, not obviously, but to me it was obvious and because I love pork. Here's the uh, homemade coleslaw. And this is just cabbage, red onions, red bell peppers, and we made a lime cilantro vinaigrette, and that's going to go right on top. And then the last thing I do, I forgot my ladle, so I'm going to use a, <laughs> a portion <laughs> cut. So since this is a noodle bowl and we want a little bit of broth down the bottom, I'm going to just pour it right down the bottom like that, let it run all the way around. And you can eat that with chopsticks, you can eat it with a fork, you can eat it with a spoon. I'd garnish it maybe with just a little bit of lime, maybe some more of these little black sesame seeds. And that's a wrap, kid. Very nice. And of course, the recipe can be found at foxcharlotte.com.